I do extensive test plots and so forth to kind of see which ones will maybe uh, do the best in a, uh, a no-till situation. I, I plant a couple plots of corn and uh, soybeans also to, because there are certain hybrids that do better in cold germ and so I, I'm really particular on that, which means that if you do get a cool spring, that maybe they will have a better chance of coming out the ground sooner, which means better yield also, that that's something that, that we really try to select that way because in a no-till environment, you're gonna have a little bit colder soil and so you want something that has a better cold germ to, to help it come up in, the, in that environment. We are really trying to select hybrids that are drought resistant also. And in some cases, we might go to a hybrid that maybe is a little bit shorter season, which means it matures in less days. And, and, and what, that's one huge thing that maybe if you have a shorter season that can yield as well as a long season, that will mean that you'll have to put less water on it because it will mature quicker and you won't have to put an extra watering or two on. And so that's something I'm really looking at, especially with our water allocations that I can only put so much water on that if I can get a hybrid that will mature sooner, you know, I'll maybe save an inch at the end of the year that I don't have to, to pump on that. So that's something that I think the seed companies are really doing a good job of getting some uh, shorter season hybrids out there that, that the yield seems to be up there um, with the long seasons. So You can't always tell what's going to be the best yield and on my farm. It might be in somebody else's test plot or you know, 100 miles away from here, here or 300 miles away. But what works on my farm, I will really extensively look at that so I don't have, I know one year we, we had a hybrid that was supposed to be so good, but it fell down, um, terrible. And you know, so if I wouldn't have that in my test plot, I might have planted that the next year, not really understanding, you know, how the standability was. And, and that can vary from year to year, but that's just so important. I mean, there's enough good hybrids, there's no use risking planting something that might have a problem standing up. Or there's green snap that's involved, that's, uh, involved with that too. And green snap is when it breaks off maybe with a high wind in 1st of July or whatever, and that just ruins the plant. Well, with my test plots, I can analyze those, and if we do get a wind event, at least I'll be able to see it and analyze that myself. And that's just a, a huge risk that's out there. And so that's one reason I really um, put a lot of effort into my test plots.